guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a part two of a Black Friday Cyber Monday haul. So if you haven't already watched part one, I will put a link somewhere or do one of those ad things. I don't know. I'll do one of those things so you guys can actually see um, all the clothes that I got. So this video is going to be all the makeup and music that I got. And now that I'm like filming these back to back, I feel like I need to state like I'm so grateful for everything that I have. Like I don't want to come off as spoiled or anything like that. Like I really appreciate everything that I have and I work hard for everything that I have. So yeah, that's basically that. Um, if you don't like hauls or stuff like that, don't watch it. If you don't like makeup or music, don't watch it. But this is just all the other stuff that I got besides clothes on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So yeah, let's just get on into the video. And oh, if you don't know me, my name is Dipti. Hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Dipti Kumar with an underscore, which is just my name. And please subscribe or comment or like say hi to me. Make me feel loved. I really appreciate that. But um, yeah. So the first two things that I have are actually food. And high key, you guys have no idea how much restraint it took me not to eat these. Like I haven't opened these at all for like a week. And that's saying something. So these are um, just holiday pretzels. And you can see, like, on the front of the package, they just have, um, like, I think they're covered in white chocolate, and they just have, like, Christmas colors on them. And they come in this really cute box that I'm probably going to reuse, and I can, like, smell them through the box, and they smell so good. They smell like peppermint. So I got that. This is, like, this first candy thing. And yes, these are for me. I'm literally going to eat the whole thing. You have no idea. So I got that, and then, oh, I freaking love peppermint bark. Love it! <laughs> so I got peppermint bark in a tin, and I really like the tin. Again, I'm probably going to reuse the container. And yeah, I mean, if you don't know what peppermint bark is, where have you been your entire life? You need to try it. Um, I love it. Absolutely love it. That and like white chocolate, like anything like white chocolate, it just gets me. Like, I love that. So yeah, next up, I guess we'll do all the Sephora stuff. So it's going to be makeup and then music. Um, the first thing that I got is this um, Glam Glow set. Um, and it retails for, a, um, retail value, it says, like, the value of it is, like, $119, and I only paid, like, $50 for it, so, definite savings. It has the, um, Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Moisturizer, uh, Gravity Mud thing, I don't know, it's, like, their whole set, basically. It has, like, serum and stuff like that, and I think most of the products are, it looks like they're all, like, full size, which makes sense because it's, like, expensive, or most of them must be full size, or, like, big size, don't quote me on this, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'll probably open this out open this up and test it out soon but yeah also I just love the packaging of it too and I love the fact that they put like their whole treatment set in one thing because I know people have been like obsessed over glam glow and their masks so I really really want to test that out so yeah that's the first thing that I got at Sephora and they're all most of these are holiday sets and I got them all for myself so no shame um the next thing that I want the 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 next thing that I got, um, is this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Set. And guys, if you have a complexion that's, like, actually, I feel like this would work for any complexion, but if you have, like, a, like, a darker complexion or, like, an olive tone or, like, like, really dark, I think this would look great on you. Because if you look at, like, all of the shades, like, all, every single one of the shades are, like, designed... Like, they just look, like, I'm so surprised. Like, usually, like, in the set, there's, like, this one token pink shade or, like, one shade that was just not meant for my undertones and, like, I just chuck it usually. But, like, this, like, I can say that, like, every single shade in this set looks good on me. Even this one that's, like, really light right here. Like, every single shade looks good on me and I'm so excited to test these out. And, yeah, I don't know, it's such a, like, wide range of colors. Like, they have, like, nudes, they have, like, pinks, they have a purple, and they have, like, a pitch black, too. So, it's just really exciting. And, like... You can pretty much make any of these colors, like, change just by using, like, a lip liner. And you can pretty much make any lip color work for you by using a lip liner. So, yeah, I'm just really excited about this set. And I thought it was, like, really affordable. I forget how much I paid for it, but I thought that it was really affordable. Because you do get, like, a good amount of product that I see in here. Um, the next thing that I got... Oh, okay, so I use this cream all the time. Except I use it in, like, the little tubey thing. And I literally, like, I've gone through multiples of them. Like, I've bought, like, four or five and just gone through it. And it's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This whole jar is $15, which is, like, actually a really good deal. Because it's worth, like, $42, it says. And, um, the reason why I like this so much is because it doesn't really have a scent. It's, like, I don't know if it's, like, water-based, but it's, like, watery. Which means if I put it on after the shower, it's perfect because I don't feel thick. Like, I hate those moisturizing creams that are, like, oil-based and they just make me feel thick and, like, my skin feel gross. This is not one of those. And so I just got, like, a giant jar of it. And, yeah, I'm just really excited to try it out. Um, oh my god, there's so much stuff. I'm just gonna bring it back. Okay. Blah, blah. Oh, okay, so I got two pairs of lashes. 
I got the, um, ah! Okay, so I got the Huda Beauty in Samantha, which I've already used before. This is just, like, a repurchase of that. So, I mean, I love them, obviously. The next ones that I got are, um, Velour Lashes in the style Fluff and Edgy. What? Fluff and Edgy? I don't know if that's the style of it. I think it is the style of it. I think it's fluff and edgy. That's what it's called. But these are like kind of more full around the center of the band. Also, they're actually smaller. So I'm just hoping that they like curve around my eye, right? Because I have like pretty big eyes. And some, like, sometimes I feel like the lash bands just aren't shaped for my eye. So we'll see. But I'm just really excited. Because these are a little bit less wispy than Samantha. So we'll test those out. Oh, the next thing that I got. Guys, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so everyone's been talking about, like, the Stila, um, eye glitter. What are they called? Eye for, Ele uh, eye for Elegance liquid eyeshadows. Like, everybody on the internet, like, the metallic ones, they've been raving. And so I found this holiday set with, um, their shimmery ones and their glittery ones. And I just love the colors. Like, this, like, darker color. And, like, I just love all of the colors. I'll probably do an eye look with these. But, yeah, every single one of these colors is great. And I just watched um, Manny MUA's video, yeah, like, yesterday. And he was like, you need this holiday set. And I was like, well, I got the holiday set. So, yeah, um, I'm really excited. And, obviously, like, he's really legit. So, if he says it and I say it, y'all should check it out. Yeah, I really like it. Um, doo -doo -doo. The next things that I got. Oh, my God. I did not realize I got this much stuff. Okay, we're just gonna ignore all the free samples because that would take forever. Um, the next thing that I got is this duo with, like, a red lipstick and a, like, gl clear gloss that goes over it. And it's just from Buxom. And I haven't used, like, a normal lipstick in such a long time. But I figured this would look really cool. Also, like, gloss is back, so I feel like that would be nice. And I like the undertones of this red, too. So, yeah, that's just simple. It's like a lipstick and, um, like, lip shine gloss duo. They call it a lip polish. Um... Okay, I literally just bought this because of the gimmick. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I totally fell for it. It's this pink mask that has, like, rose in it. And, I don't know, it's from Bosha. And it's a peel-off pink mask. Yeah, like, I can't resist a pink mask. Like, even if it's for the, like, stupid Instagram picture. Like, I'm so excited to try it. Plus, I have, um, Bosha's face, face wash. And it's actually really good. So, um, yeah. Excited to try this out. Also, I love the, like, all pink, like, monochromish packaging. It's super cute. The next thing that I got, guys, I did not know such a small palette could be so pretty. It's the Huda Beauty, um, it's the Warm Brown Obsessions. I think this is, like, brand new from Sephora. This isn't, like, a holiday item, I don't think, but, um, it's new, and it's just, like, this tiny compact palette, and it was, like, $27, so, like, you are paying, like, legit money for it. <coughs> oh, I inhaled some. But look at that. Like, every single one of the colors looks so pigmented so pigmented yeah um and i'm just really excited about it like it's all these terracotta shades and like the um middle shade is like shimmer and i don't know i'm like living like look at me i'm like obsessed <coughs> oh <coughs> dying i'm obsessed with it and it's like every great color all together in one little thing so yeah okay i'm gonna talk quieter now because i'm like dying wow Okay. I'm okay. I'm not dead. Moving on. I got this Sunday Riley. Oh god. <coughs> the Sunday Riley CEO antioxidant cream. I just got like a mini version of it because it was it retails for like a lot and even this mini version was pretty expensive. But I've heard like really good things about it. So apparently it has like a lot of vitamin C. It's like 5% something. And then it also smells like oranges and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just really excited to test this out, like, high-end skincare, <coughs> because I haven't really tried that out before, so yeah, this should be fun to test out. Um, so, oh, more samples, right? Yeah. Blah, blah. Oh, this is so cool. So the next thing that I got is from Hourglass, and it's one of their modernist eyeshadow palettes, and I think the coolest thing about it is that they don't have, um, it's in the shade Infinity, and they don't have pans in them. Like, it's like one giant pan. And, um, first of all, I love the packaging. Like, with this monochrome, this is, like, up my alley. Love the color also. But, um, yeah, like, there's no pans. Like, everything just flows all together. And, like, all these colors look so pretty. And I think, like, for blending, it would be great. And they have, like, one shimmer shimmer in the center. And they have a highlight and everything. So, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to test this out. And I feel like all these colors would look really good on my skin tone. So, I'm really excited about that. And the last makeup item that I got is the, um, 
the Morphe 350 palette. I know, y'all. Like, I know I'm, like, the last person to, like, get this. And you guys probably don't even need to see it because you know what it is. But, um, yeah. I know I'm, like, the absolute last person to get this. But I was like, you know what? It was, like, on sale. I was like, why not invest? And I don't know how I feel about it, obviously, because I haven't tried it. Like, the packaging isn't the greatest. But, like, it is really affordable. And it has so many colors in it that, like, if these are actually good quality, like, you can't go wrong. Because I need a palette with more color. And they were actually out of the shimmer version of this. So this is like the 350 original with, um, like, I think mattes and shimmers. Yeah, I'm just really excited for all, like, the these middle purple-brown colors. So I'm going to test those out and let y'all know what I think. But yeah, I have never tried anything from Morphe besides their brushes. I have a brush set from them, but this should be interesting. Okay, so wow. I feel like this video is getting really long and we haven't even started music. We're just going to breeze through it. We're going to work it out. So the most expensive first thing that I got at Urban was da -da -da -da, a Polaroid. Obviously, I already have the Instax Mini, but um, I bought a bunch of film for this also, but I'm not going to haul that because it's in here. But um, yeah, this is like the wide one. And I know like some people think that this is stupid and inconvenient, but I feel like there's something so great about just being able to take a picture and like giving it to somebody. And like, it's just so authentic. And I just love the vintage look of it too, not gonna lie. So this is like the full size one. So when it prints out, I could, sh I don't wanna just waste one right now. But um, it comes out like wide and like full size. Like this is how big the back is. So it's gonna be like a full size one. And this was on sale. And I think this color is an Urban Outfitters exclusive. Cause the other one I think is like black and silver or something. And I just liked how clean the all white one looks. So I picked that up. And this was also part of like the buy one, get one 50% off. So, like, I split my stuff up into transactions so that I would, like, save the most money and stuff. So, that was cool. Um, the next thing, I got a few tapes. So, the first is a 1975 album. I like it when you sleep, but you were so beautiful, you're unaware of it. I actually saw this live in concert, and it was so good. So, like, now having it on cassette is super fun. Um, I got Lana Del Rey's uh, Lust for Life on cassette. I haven't opened this one yet. And the cassette for this one is red, and the cassette for this one is pink. So, I think that's really cute. Um, the next one is from the Guardians of the Galaxy of all pla- Yeah, I know, right? For, of all things. But they have, like, this mixtape that has, like, all these random songs. Like, Hooked on a Feeling, um, Moon Age Daydream, um, I Want You Back, Jackson 5, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Like, they have, like, it's, like, a good actual, like, collection of songs, I feel like. I don't know. So, like, they have it in, like, this cute, like, mixtape style where, like, it's, like, written on here and stuff like that. So I'm gonna give this a listen. And then the last one- this is just the case for it because it's in my player right now, but it's, um, Alt-J. Oh, no, it's not. It's Beach House. Frick, I thought it was Alt-J. Okay, it's Beach House and it's B-Sides and Rarities. If you don't know who Beach House is, you should check them out. I really like them. It's super ambient and stuff like that. So, next thing, because I was home, I, um... Oh, whoa, whoa, backing it up. Okay, so, forgot about this. This is just one of those, like, cool, like, modern frames that are, like, magnetic from Urban, so like obviously this would like slide out and you can put like whatever pictures you want in between these two things. So yeah, I just got that really quickly. Totally forgot about that. Um, the next things that I got are on vinyl. So I think the first two, I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I got these two, these three? I don't even remember, oh my gosh. Okay, I forget where these are from. I'm pretty sure I got these three at Princeton Record Exchange, which is a local um, record store in Princeton. But I haven't listened to this yet. It's um, Control by SZA Saw. I don't know. I'm uncultured. But I have listened to her song Love Galore, and it's really good. And also, I like the album cover a lot. Like, she's, like, just seriously slaying. So I got this on vinyl. And it was cheaper. Yeah, go to local record stores, because usually it's cheaper than list price, because I paid less than list price for that. And then this was used, but, um, it's Sunlit Youth by Local Natives, and I really, really love this. It holds, like, a special place in my heart, and I think it just sounds really great. And, yeah, I mean, vinyl self-explanatory. These are, like, some of my music favorites, I guess. Okay, so the next up, I paid, like, $2 for this, and it's the Bee Gees, um, first. And it's just, like, yeah, they have a bunch of used records and stuff like that. Like, if you haven't tried going back and listening to old music, you really should. So I'm really excited to test this out, and I love how, like... I don't know. I just like listening to old things. It just, like, makes me feel good, like, as a person. Like, happy. Yeah. And then the last thing that I got, I believe I got this from Amazon. This is Local Natives Hummingbird. This is a kind of sad album, I will forewarn you. So, like, don't listen to this if you want to be happy. But this is a very much, like, chill, like, meta-sounding, vibey album that I just really like. 
so yeah that concludes everything for real it concludes everything for real for me i just filmed part one and part two but um yeah if you stuck around for this long um thanks so much for watching um follow me comment if you guys have any like music suggestions or makeup suggestions or stuff like that totally let me know and if you want to know where any of this is from um i mean i mentioned it but like if you guys just like comment or something like that i can just like put a link or something like that yeah i don't even know we're like in finals week man my brain is dying um yeah that's all i got thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go take a nap now um bye